I was just eating lunch and I was on my phone and I was basically looking at the latest news and what is happening in the industry. And honestly, I wasn't planning to make this video, but I saw my camera sitting right here and I realized there must be a lot of other people who are probably going through this and it's causing them a lot of stress. And uh, I know sometimes it's better to not talk about it, but I wanted to talk about it because personally, it has been causing me so much anxiety. We have heard about Twitter layoff, hearing about possible Meta layoff, so many other companies, including Stripe, a bunch of other companies that I'm blanking out on have done layoffs and it's not stopping. Honestly, I thought this would not impact me, but I've been thinking about it a lot. I'm trying to stay off my phone. I'm trying to stay off social media because you are introduced to the news without even realizing that you're being introduced to it. So I'm trying my best, but at the same time, the news is everywhere. Specifically, what caught me really by surprise is the Twitter layoff and the way it was done. For those of you who don't know, basically there was an email sent out to all the employ employees telling them that they don't need to come to the office on Friday, which was basically the next day. And on Friday, 9 a.m. PST Pacific time, they'll get an email if they got laid off or if their position was not laid off. I don't work at Twitter. I do have a friend who works at Twitter, but honestly, it was just the way it was done. It just was a reminder to myself that, wow, we are replaceable. I stayed up until midnight reading the tweets of people who are getting laid off. I was actually surprised at how positive people are being and how some of them are turning this into light with humor, which like there's nothing humorous about the situation, especially pe people who are getting laid off. I was just refreshing my Twitter page and reading everybody's tweets every minute, every hour, because people started getting laid off the night before as they got locked out from their computer screen. Anyways, this whole fiasco was last Friday and yesterday, Sunday, we actually heard that there's gonna be a massive layoff by Meta. And they're gonna be announcing on Wednesday. I went to work today and I was feeling good pretty good in the morning. I'm sitting in meetings, I'm having conversations, but then the back of my mind is occupied with what's happening industry-wide. And I'm just sitting here talking about business, whereas somebody else is losing their job right now. I don't know if there is any point to this video other than the fact that I am pretty stressed out and I don't know if anybody else is experiencing this. If you are, I just want to tell you that you are not alone. There are a lot of people who are currently overwhelmed by everything that is happening in the tech scene. There are a couple of things that I'm personally doing to safeguard myself from everything that is going on, which I know is a privilege to be able to do that. Honestly, it's not working, but I'm gonna share it in case it is, ends up working for some of you. I'm trying to focus on the main priorities that I have ongoing, trying to like deliver really good performance on all the projects that I'm working on. Outside of work, I am focusing on family and my personal health, my mental health, my physical health, and just trying to focus on the things that are in my control and things like the news, the layoffs, and things that are not in my control. There's nothing much I can do about it other than reading about it, listening about it, and getting worried. So I'm trying to focus on things that are in my control because anything that is beyond my control, there is no influence I can have on that. The other thing is not attach my self-worth to my job. Honestly, this has been work in progress. So let's say in the worst case scenario, if I am impacted or somebody else is impacted, that event specifically doesn't define who I am as a person, I am more than that. So just detaching my self-worth from my job is something that you can try and probably it works better for you than for me. <laughs> Just being honest here. And the third is I'm trying to save money for the rainy day. I'm trying to grow my emergency fund, trying to have some liquid assets that I can use because in addition to all the layoffs news and all of that, there is a also inflation, there is possible recession. Some people say we're already in recession. Some people say we're not in recession. So just trying to protect myself and, and do whatever is in my control. Over the last two years, I feel like we have been through a lot. Pandemic, inflation, work from home, return to office, and combine that with like other responsibilities outside of my day job, I actually gained 20, I gained 20 pounds during pandemic. And that's like completely a different topic. This whole last two, three years has affected us in one way or another. 
I'm actually doing horrible right now at networking. I forgot how to network, how to have a small talk and how to connect with people. There's so many things that is impacting different people differently following the last three years because it definitely did a number on us and we're not done yet. Anyways, I'll stop here. I just wanted to say like, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling like you cannot focus on work right now because of all the news that is going on in the industry, you are not alone. I'm also feeling this way. You can read other people's experience in the comment and realize that you're not the only one who is experiencing this. I know this is gonna sound a little too positive, but I think we, we will make through this. Anyways, I will talk to you in a different video. Have a good one.